All right, I had a question uh, from somebody who DM'd me um, through my Instagram, uh, who's sort of on the higher tier of the membership spectrum. It's a thing now that YouTube's doing, it's like join now for an exclusive membership, and they get to ask me questions and suggest videos. So here's the answer to your extreme right side versus right side video. Okay, or right side versus right side question. So <laughs> Classic right versus right, okay? I'm going mostly here, Osoro, Pedro. Okay, so Lama doesn't like this, so he leans into this arm, okay? Immediately, right, if I'm standing straight and he's leaning into this arm, right, he neutralizes my power arm, okay? So the tsurite that's controlling his posture, right? Now, for me to go osotogari, I have to return him upright and then go osoto, which is gonna be very difficult when my arm is extended, okay? I wanna do my turn throws in this direction, he has his chin over my hand. Very, very difficult to do so because he's leaning into my arm, okay? First thing when he throws his chin over in my hand and then throws his weight over is I have to repeat this as well. I have to do the same exact thing because right now if he goes Osoto, right, I, it's gonna be very difficult for me to recover from it. I'm closer to his, his successful throw and I'm, he's further away from my successful throw. Once he throws his chin over, I throw my chin over, and now we're effectively we're in the same position 50-50, okay? I call like this uh, extreme right side versus right side. Uh, some people call it like the bow and arrow position because it looks like you're shooting a bow and arrow. Uh, but there's lots of different tricks that I can do from here, okay? There's not all, only one answer. My favorite is I like to go forward, make it look like I'm going osoto, which makes him lean into the arm even more, okay? Uh, lean into my arm as I go osoto. Right, he's going counterbalance, going in the opposite direction. I make it look like I'm going Osoto, and then I clear this knee. Okay, I kick this knee and tip him onto this leg. And sometimes, right, I'm capable of running him and then taking him down. Okay, very rare. You're not going to get most people. You're going to get people to the knees, and then you can force their waza. That's something I've made a video about before. It's fantastic, right? But you could sort of use this to break his balance and then have him return to neutral, okay? We're leaning, ball, neutral, okay? He's recovered, and now I'm in good position to go for my turn throw, okay? I could adjust my shoulder, I could go coachy and cut his hand, okay? Lots of different options, but now we're not stuck 50-50. Now we're not in this sort of uh, right side versus right side extreme position. Here's another one of my favorites, okay? Salama does this all the time. I actually saw him do it today, right? Right side versus right side. He goes Kochi here, and then goes outside, and then tries to bring the opponent's weight over to the opposite leg, okay? So I'm gonna be nice and he fell right over, but you're not gonna catch most people with it. A lot of these types of foot attacks, you have to use it to create movement in order to set up your other attacks, right? You know he's gonna try to step around it, therefore he's gonna return himself, and that's when you go for something else. It's a trap. Okay, you bait him, and then it's a trap. Right side versus right side, one, two, ah, didn't get it. Oh, step back, step, you know step back, step? Now that I can go Ochi, okay? It's all depending on his reaction, and what happens after that, and whether I have the foresight to know that he's gonna be there, okay? It's anticipating uh, what's the next two steps after that, right? Right side versus right side. Going forceful soto, really difficult. Forceful turn throw. Very difficult, okay? I might go this sort of a situation. Return here, and then Salama's uncomfortable. He throws his chin over again, right? Right side versus right side. And now I have a little bit of advantage. My hand's a little bit higher, okay? If my hand is a little bit higher than his hand, I might just force Osorigari and try to take his head and take him over, okay? You can do that sort of judo, okay? But if it's completely 50-50 and I go for it, and I'm trying to gumby him over, I'm doing hope judo. I'm hoping I'm strong enough. I'm hoping I'm more athletic than this guy. I hope I win that position. And those are usually, that's not usually a good strategy to do, okay? Right versus right, Kochi Kosoro. Ah, creating movement, adjust Kochi. Okay, now I'm in great position. Turn throw, tie up. Fake Kochi. Moving, Ochi, okay? Does he have any attack from here? Not really, okay? I'm free to do all my favorite stuff, and then Salama's effectively shut down, okay? A lot better 
then locked up 50-50, stomach to stomach in this close range sort of a situation. Very, very dangerous. Okay, so these are just two of my favorite things. Inside to side, Kochi Kosoro to create him coming back neutral, and I'm attacking him off of that. Thank you. Very long-winded, huh? <laughs>